here at PPE. We take great pride at making our parts here in the USA. To do so, we use the Moriseki NLX 2500SY. This particular machine is outfitted with specific options that allow us to produce a variety of parts such as these. Today we're doing a run of drain plugs. We're going to show you how we take a round bar stock 304 stainless and turn it into a part like this. Our Moriseki is a dual spindle CNC lathe with live milling capabilities. Let's take a look inside and see how the parts are made. The primary spindle holds up to four feet of bar stock. Here, the stock is pulled into position where the machine will be turning the threads and machining the pocket for the magnet. To produce the drain plug, we've outfitted the turret head with all the various tools that are required. Some tools are static, which means they don't move. Other tools are live for live milling and they rotate. All of the tooling is liquid cooled. The o-ring groove, threads, and magnet pocket have been cut. At this point, the part will automatically be transferred from the primary spindle to the subspindle. The drain plug is transferred from the primary spindle to the subspindle, and we'll be producing the hex head along with the PPE engraving. After 9 minutes and 12 seconds, the completed part is ejected into the parts catcher and the whole process begins again. There's a few steps left in the process and we're going to show you that next. While the drain plug is manufactured on a quarter of a million dollar Moriseki machine, the last step of the procedure is fairly low tech. This is where we insert the neodymium magnet into the drain plug. We'll be using an arbor press. We insert the drain plug into the holder, put the magnet on the ram, and we're done. The powerful neodymium magnet will attract and hold harmful ferrous metals, which will prolong the life of the fluid. Once the drain plugs have been fitted with Miton O rings, they're ready to be installed. Complete the installation by torquing the 17 foot power. Thanks for joining us today at PPE. Stay tuned for more behind the scenes videos at ppediesel.com.